Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm at home working uh, on my bench and I wanted to make a quick video on a tool I just bought. Um, I needed a second scanner ASAP and uh, I was looking around online and I, I do a lot of keys, not just um, diagnostics. And I saw the, uh, I think it's Autosys IM100 by, it says it's by Oro. But I, you can tell by looking at it, it's actually made by Autel. Uh, the software's layout's exactly the same. You know, uh, the icons, uh, everything about it is exactly the same. Uh, only thing annoying about it is every time you get into it, it warns you that you can lock yourself out of a car and that they're not liable if you screw up an immobilizer. Um, I've only had it for two days, and I just thought I'd do a quick video um, and give you my thoughts on it. Actually, uh it comes with a key reader. I'm sure they're going to expand this, but for right now, it's mostly um, geared towards uh, VW Audi vehicles. Uh, still pretty good. Um, you can read and write keys. Um, you can do unlocking keys. Uh, you can read the data. Um, read IDs. You can do pretty much anything. Uh, unlocking keys. Anything. Um, VW related it does high tag. I'll see if I can go back and you can see, um, I'll give you a little screenshot here so far. Here's what I can read chip wise for the keys. Um, but let's go back cause I'm kind of jumping ahead. Accessories it comes with a really nice, actually one of the best I've seen. Um, and I have a few name brand ones. The eight, uh, eight pin EEPROM clip. Here's a body control module for a GM I just fixed for a customer the other day. And it, it's actually uh, way nicer than the ones I have. Um, also has the ability to uh, solder directly to a microcontroller. And it's all in one adapter, which uh, goes into the key reader for programming. Um, it comes with, let me see here. Sorry, I wasn't thinking ahead when I made this video. It comes with two um, EEPROM adapters. And then it comes with, I already have one of these that I use with my, uh, I got a little uh, USB reader. But it comes with a, you can plug it in and it's just the 8 pin. Uh, you can snap in your uh, 8 pin EEPROMs. And then you can see here it's got all the different sizes for the different EEPROMs. And then it also comes with, which is kind of nice, a microcontroller board. So if you need to remove it, I don't typically read um, the EEPROMs in circuit. I always take them out just because it seems to corrupt the data on some uh, oscillating circuits and stuff. You can end up with, with bad data. In. Another thing I like is it comes with, um, I just made a couple of these the other day too, and I was kind of excited that it came with the kit for um, doing bench work. Your OBD plug. It's got the female plug, and then you can actually uh, do your programming on the bench, which is kind of nice. And then it comes with a few uh, of the older style uh, Kia and uh, Asian car, um, pre and an Asian car adapters. Uh, all right, back to the tool. Really good tool so far. You can obviously tell it's made by Autel, uh, not just the size, but it, it's almost identical. Uh, a little smaller screen. It's heavy. It's built well. Built well. Sorry, can't talk today. And uh, diagnostics. It's got all vehicle coverage, um, which is great. Read all modules. I tried it out in uh, most cars. I mean, I obviously didn't try it on every car. Uh, doesn't have any bi-directional controls, no coding whatsoever, and no special function. So basically, it's read and erase on all modules and all cars. So, I mean, compared to the, you know, the other Autels, you lose a special function. But it's still a good diagnostic tool. Um, you can read codes, you know, stuff like that. You're just not going to do any coding with it. Updates are exactly like an Autel. Exactly. Oh, I don't have it connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, no difference there has your same shop manager uh, you can print with it data manager uh, remote desktop for assistance uh, i've actually printed a couple things with it 
and then you have your uh, immobilizer. This is uh, especially for immobilizer. Also, uh, what is pretty cool before I get into the mobilizer, um, it has a full function TPMS tool built in. Uh, my 906 BT doesn't even have that. I have an individual tool I use um, that works pretty well, but you can write IDs, read IDs. It's got a full, um, fully capable TPMS programmer um, built in. And for the immobilizers, it, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this tool, and it's not just because I love Autel, this tool is pretty awesome. Um, I tried two Dodges and a Chrysler. I did a Town and Country, uh, Dodge Ram, and uh, Dodge Dart, and it read the pin code no problem on all three of them. I programmed a key in a 2001 VW Beetle, no problem. I was able to program a key. This is just yesterday and today. I've only had the tool two days. For a 2013 Jetta, no problem at all. Um, Chevy, uh, I did a 2015 Tahoe. And I have videos of each one of these um, as I was doing them. I'm just not going to pack them all into this video. But I'm going to do a separate little series of videos on this tool because I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, I did a 2015 Tahoe. It let me add the remote without having to go into like SPS or anything like that. Um, it, the keyless remote with the remote start. No, it didn't let me add the, I didn't add the remote start function. I just added the remote start fob as a second fob. I tried it out on a Hyundai. It worked. Every car I tried so far, it worked. Actually, uh, 2016 Hyundai, it failed. And it told me right on there that the vehicle wasn't covered yet. And then if I tried more than twice, it was going to lock me out. Um, it does give you several warnings. Uh, really cool thing about it is if you don't know a lot about immobilizers and how keys work, it's got an auto feature. Um, and it will do BMW keys, just the, uh, it won't do like the cast system keys or anything like that yet. Uh, who knows? I'm pretty sure that they're going to add quite a bit. Just tell from the accessories that came with the tool that as, um, as it goes along that they're going to add a lot more features to it. I know it's, it's really pretty new. Um, so yeah, it has expert mode or auto mode. And then the auto mode for the immobilizers is really nice because It'll walk you through it step by step. Uh, even if, like, a lot of times, some of the immobilizer systems you don't really need, the scanner really doesn't do anything. It'll just tell you the sequence, you know, like if you're gonna add a remote for this car or if you're gonna add a key for that car, it'll tell you that. Um, but it walks you through it and it tells you where you might run into trouble, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of it I know, but I don't know everything. So I was kind of running around just trying uh, different tools or different cars, I'm sorry, to see what it would do. Honda, uh, it was reading the Honda, no problem. Got me right to the add a key. Uh, I haven't made one yet. And then I did all keys lost on my personal Camry. Uh, I wasted a perfectly good key, but I wanted to see if I could do an uh, all keys lost situation for Toyota. No problem. Oh, there we go. I'll show you. It has smart mode is what it's called. Expert mode and smart mode when you're doing uh, immobilizer work. Smart mode, it walks you through everything. Expert mode. Obviously, I'm not connected to a vehicle. Expert mode, you can uh, manually do everything. Um, I think I'm in VW. I must be in VW because it's showing me the K-Line instrument panels. Um, yeah, remote learning, key learning. But I'm pretty impressed. I've tried. I mean, I have a really high dollar programmer just for keys. A token-based system, which I hate buying tokens. Just put it that way. Um, but I've tried the SKP 900. I've tried a couple of other tools, some X tools, and there's no comparison. And, uh, like I said, it's not just because I'm an Autel fan. It's because what they say this will do, it actually does. And it works. So, um, I'm going to make a series of videos. Like I said, I'm not going to post the ones. Maybe I'll add them in the next day or so. I was kind of running around yesterday, just, uh, playing catch up on some cars that I was behind on and then every car that I got in I kind of hooked it up real quick did a little run through to see what it would do with the immobilizer and uh pretty impressed like I said Hyundai uh Dodge, Dodge was great I, I've yet to find a tool that would read the pin codes on a Dodge like this one does uh no problem you know two Dodges and a Chrysler Town and Country no problem so um I give it a thumbs up for the price range it's uh, 11.95 um for a tool that has full diagnostics, uh, the ability to read keys, write keys, uh, TPMS, and everything all in one package, 
and it actually does what it says it's going to do and works is is a pretty good deal to me. Sorry about that. Maximum recording time reached. Um, just the Dodge pin codes alone, the hassle there, um, and some of the GM, you know, letting you do some of the GM cars without having to run through the service programming is is worth it to me. But uh, as I use it more, I'll be able to tell you more. Um, oh, and Nissan too. I added a keyless fob for a Nissan, no problem. Um, but like I said, as I use it more, uh, I'm going to do a series of videos on it and I'm going to keep going with the Autel videos. And I got a bunch of videos I made on, uh, repairing different body control modules and stuff like that. But while I was sitting here working on my desk, I thought, you know, I kind of looked it up and there's no videos on it yet, but I'm telling you, if, if you do a lot of immobilizer work, you can't go wrong with this tool for the price point. I mean, it does a lot of what my $5,000 tool will do without having to buy tokens and without having, you know, the hassle, uh, of learning, you know, the, it, the auto, the smart mode, it's just, it's a really good all around tool so far. Um, but if I find anything bad, I mean, there are a few things I don't like that every time you go into the immobilizer system, it, it gives you a warning. You can't get rid of it. Um, anything you do, it tells you every single time it drives me crazy. And then, um, no updates yet. It did update the firmware um, as soon as I got it. Oh, and it does have service reset functions too. One more thing. You can do uh, certain things, oil light resets, uh, electric parking brakes. Um, you can do diesel particulate filter, uh, battery registration. Um, it will do brake bleed and throttle relearns. Uh, odometer, I'm not so sure. Under odometer, we only have a few cards here. Obviously, it's not going to uh, let me in without being connected to a car. But I don't think you're going to be able to program odometers with it yet. But uh, try not to make this video too long. So I just wanted to give you a little little bit of thoughts on it. Because I hadn't actually uh, seen anything on the internet yet about it. But it's it's a solid built tool, that's for sure. It doesn't feel cheap in your hands like some of the other ones I've used Again, uh, doesn't have the camera on this one. They're supposed to be coming out with a IM600 pretty soon. I couldn't find that on the internet, so that's why I went with this one. No camera, but you can see, I mean, the kickstand's the same. So it's obviously an Autel-made tool, but um, if you use Autel, you know how good they are. And I'm just kind of excited that they finally got into the, you know, a mobilizer-specific tool that actually still does diagnostics. So um, if you have any questions or anything you want to know about it, uh, just leave me a comment you know, and I'll, uh, get back to you ASAP and, uh, let you know what I can do. All right. Thanks for watching.